Chapter 27 of Among the Meadow People This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Among the Meadow People by Clara Dillingham Pearson Chapter 27 The Katydids Quarrel The warm summer days were past, and the Katydids came again to the meadow. Everybody was glad to see them, and the grasshoppers, who are cousins of the katydids, gave a party in their honor. Such a time as the meadow people had getting ready for that party. They did not have to change their dresses, but they scraped and cleaned themselves, and all the young grasshoppers went off by the woods to practice jumping and get their knees well limbered, because there might be games and dancing at the party, and then how dreadful it would be if any young grasshopper should find that two or three of his legs wouldn't bend easily. The grasshoppers did not know at just what time they ought to have the party. Some of the meadow people whom they wanted to invite were used to sleeping all day, and some were used to sleeping all night, so it really was hard to find an hour at which all would be wide awake and ready for fun. At last the tree frog said, Bucker up, bucker up, have it at sunset. And at sunset it was. Everyone came on time and they hopped and chattered and danced and ate a party supper of tender green leaves. Some of the little grasshoppers grew sleepy and crawled among the plantains for a nap. Just then a big katydid said he would sing a song, which was a very kind thing for him to do, because he really did it to make the others happy, and not to show what a fine musician he was. All the guests said, How charming! or We should be delighted! And he seated himself on a low swinging branch. You know how Katie did sing with the covers of their wings, and so when he alighted on the branch he smoothed down his pale green suit and rubbed his wing cases a little to make sure that they were in tune. Then he began loud and clear, Katie did! Katie did! Katie did! Of course he didn't mean any real Katie, but was just singing his song. However, there was another Katie did there who had a habit of contradicting, and he had eaten too much supper, and that made him feel crosser than ever, so when the singer said, Katie did. This fellow jumped up and said, Katie didn't, Katie didn't, Katie didn't. And they kept at it, one saying that she did and the other that she didn't, until everybody was ashamed and uncomfortable, and some of the little grasshoppers awakened and wanted to know what was the matter. Both of the singers got more and more vexed until at last neither one knew just what he was saying. And that, you know, is what almost always happens when people grow angry. They just keep saying something as loud and fast as possible, and thought all the while that they were very bright, which was all they knew about. Suddenly somebody noticed that the one who began to say, Katie did, was screaming, Katie didn't, and the one who had said, Katie didn't, was roaring, Katie did. Then they all laughed, and the two on the branch looked at each other in a very shamefaced way. The tree frog always knew the right thing to do, and he said, Buck her up so loudly that all stopped talking at once. When they were quiet, he said, We will now listen to a duet, Katie, by the two singers who are up in the tree. All please join in the chorus. So it was begun again, and both the leaders were good-natured, and all the Katie dids below joined in with did or didn't, did or didn't, did or didn't. And that was the end of the quarrel. End of chapter 27